Baltimore Blast Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And tonight, we are very pleased to honor Lance Johnson, who will become our 21st member of the Baltimore Blast Hall of Fame. Let's give it up for Lance. But first of all, let me introduce some important guests who are behind me and here tonight to support Lance and your Baltimore Blast. They include Blast owner Ed Hale, Blast president and general manager Kevin Healy, Blast Hall of Fame goalkeepers Keith Van Aaron and Chris Vaccaro, Blast Hall of Fame forward Tariq the Freak Walker. Also here tonight, Blast Defenders, Jason Dieter, Ronnie Simmons, and Derek the Rock Marcano. Also welcome Blast Forward, Albert Oney. And now it's time to talk about the man of honor. Lance Johnson. Lance began his career with the Baltimore Spirit in the 1993-94 season, where he was the league all-rookie team selection in that year. Lance scored 105 goals and recorded 68 assists in his career. He played in four, count them, four All-Star games, and he was the team captain from 1996 to 2003 for the Baltimore Spirit and the Baltimore Blast. He was a member of two Blast championship teams in 2003 and 2004 and was the all-time franchise leader in block shots. But most importantly, Lance was a winner both on and off the field. In addition to leading Blast teams to championships, Lance put in a tremendous amount of work into the community and for the fans of indoor soccer here in Baltimore. Lance understood what is meant to help make this franchise successful and what it has to do to make it successful, and Lance did it with honor. Now, it's time to take a look at the video on the scoreboard as we relive some great blast action with our captain, Lance Johnson.
to introduce Lance Stoner and Hale. To present Lance with his Baltimore Blast Hall of Fame Award. And now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the 21st member of your Baltimore Blast Hall of Fame, number eight, Lance Johnson. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thanks, everybody, for coming tonight. This is such an honor. Uh, it's been a very good couple months for me. I got married about five weeks ago to my lovely bride, Christine Brewer, now Christine Johnson, who's here tonight. So I'm on a good run right now. I want to say happy to Christine also. It was her birthday yesterday, so happy. Love you. My daughter's here, Brianna. She grew up in this arena. I think she's been here every year of her life since it began in 1996, so love you. Thank you for coming. I have a lot of friends here tonight, back in this area. I want to say thank you guys for coming. Thanks to all my teammates that are here and I played with. Thanks to all the Hall of Fame members who came tonight. I appreciate you guys. Thanks again. Thanks to all the fans. We do this for you guys. Thanks for coming tonight. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank Towson University. Some members are here tonight. I want to thank President Chandler for being here. And thanks to Towson for sponsoring this event. I want to thank a great member of the Towson University team, uh, Frank Olszewski, who's here. He was my coach at Towson. Thanks for coming. We'll talk a little bit more about him in a minute. I want to thank Ed Hale, Kevin Healy. These guys are not only responsible for my soccer career, but also my, uh, my banking career. As you know, Ed owned the bank. He hired me, and I think Kevin negotiated my first contract, uh, my, my first hourly rate of First Mariner. So, Kevin. Ed, thank you for that. So people always ask me, how did I get into the Hall of Fame? Why was I selected? Um, and I have a couple things to talk, to talk about that. Uh, one of them is I work really hard every year, and I, I worked on one thing offensively every year. And when it didn't go well, I just went back to defending. The other thing is that when you play for the, the same team your whole career, uh, you end up as number one in blocks, number one in played games, 13th in the all-star scoring list, or all-time all scoring list, but the negatives are you end up as the all-time leader in penalty minutes. So, and people always ask me, how did I get there? Uh, so that's the same answer. I want to talk about two stories. One of them has to do with the best year I ever had. Uh, I ended up, it started out with a $1 bet with Jason Dieter who's here tonight to see who, who could have the best year. So, we're playing that year, it's going great. I think we're all, we're both around 50 points. We're going into Wichita and essentially, we're not really so worried about how the team's doing, we're worried about who's gonna win the award. I'm sorry, win the $1 bet. So we play the game, I think Jason's up on me. He scores a goal, I might've scored something and we, the season ends and he's winning. So then we see in the score sheet that I, some got a, some kind of phantom assist in Wichita and we ended up tying, and I don't think either one of us paid another. So that was about my, my best year. It was all about a $1 bet. People always ask me, how did you become a defender? I was a forward in high school, and I was a midfielder, and I, I did pretty well. And how I became a defender is that I, was, I went to a tournament called the Capital Cup down in DC over Thanksgiving weekend, and my college coach Frank Lasheski was there and he was there to see me and he saw me have a, a pretty decent tournament and uh, where I had a couple breakaways I was playing as a forward going in on the goalkeeper and uh, I, I think I missed all three of them so he recruits me I go to Towson and he tells this story a little bit later on in my career he says I, I came to see you at the Capital Cup you had your breakaways you missed them all and he said and when I saw that I knew you would make a great defender because that's, that's where defenders go when forwards can't shoot. So, Coach, thank you for making me a defender. Uh, I owe this all to you. So, again, I'm very honored. Thanks, everyone, for coming tonight. And um, I'll see you here because I'm a season ticket holder. I'll be in the arena. Thanks.
Once again, Blast fans, give it up for the newest member of your Baltimore Blast Hall of Fame, number eight, Lance Johnson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we direct...